You clicked on this video because you want to know how to make better looking town maps in your RPG Maker game. We're starting right now. And if you love RPG Maker tips, tricks, tutorials, and just general discussion about RPG Maker, then scroll down and hit subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So firstly, we're just going to create a new map. Going to make it the outside tile set. Going to make this map 25 by 25. And we're just going to fill the area in with green. Now, one thing to do to make your town look infinitely better is add some elevation. So check out what I'm going to do towards the back of the map. See, look at that. That looks awesome. That was a joke. <laughs> Let me finish this off and show you what it's going to look like. There we go. Don't these cliffs look awesome? Let's add just a teeny bit more detail. Now, one of the most important things when doing towns is adding borders. We don't want the players thinking they can leave through this side of the map or that side of the map. So let's make it look natural and give this town some borders. One thing I like to do for borders is rivers. You can cut off a large section of the town just by adding a small river here. and that creates a natural border to the right hand side of the map. The next thing I like to add is trees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the edge of the map and just add some tree foresty area that the player can't traverse through. Another thing I like to do is add buildings to block the players from leaving the town. So we're just going to start putting down a few of the town's buildings using some of the tips and tricks that I showed you in the exterior building tutorial, so let's go ahead and get on with that. And lastly, you can never go wrong with fences. Fences make great borders for towns, especially if done right. One of the ways to do it right is instead of just having a fence running across the side of the screen like that with a little gap in the middle that the player can enter through, what you want to do is none of this. What we're doing is making farmland like that and maybe just putting a little roof down there to make it represent some sort of farmstead. Then we're just going to go over into the A tile, plop down some farmland, run a path through it and plant some wheat. Now what we're going to do is add our path into the town. So just a little path like this straight up. Now we don't want to have to create an event here and here and here just so the player can leave the town. So what we're going to do is fill that area with a bit of clutter. Firstly, we'll just place a sign. And then maybe over by the farmhouse, some barrels and crates or stuff. Now one thing you can do is feel free to cheat and add something like this in the bottom to make it look like there's some form of watchtower. But I'm just going to add a few logs and tree stumps. Now we have our town completely bordered. Let's add a couple of buildings to the town. Firstly, I'm just going to run a path that connects some of the outside parts of town. Now just before I start going and plopping down houses, what I'm going to do is clutter up the area with grasses and flowers. Don't worry about being too specific because a lot of it's going to get covered by the houses that we put down. And now that we're well cluttered, let's get to plopping some houses down in the town. And now we're just going to add some finishing touches just by dotting around some trees, bushes and other random clutter. Now to make this level feel alive, we're just going to add a few events. Going to chuck a piggy down on this island over here. Going to make a kid with a custom move route. He's going to jump on the spot, walking animation on, wait, walking animation off. Then he's going to jump on the spot again, wait, jump on the spot again. Going to turn down, left, up, right, and wait. And if you speak to him, he'll just say, Get out of here, I've tried to trade to be a hero. Let another girl over in the farm, give her a random move route, make an old man. Nice day for fishing, ain't it? Yuh <laughs> 
And now that we've got a couple of NPCs in the town, let's just add some music. I'm joking, I'm not recording a song. Let's uh, choose from the RTP. Now let's jump into game and have a quick look around. And there we go. Our RPG Maker Town looking much better than a beginner RPG Maker Town. Nice day for fishing, ain't it? <laughs> oh, look at this boy over here. He's doing his cool training. Get out of here. I'm trying to trade to be a hero. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, then pretty, 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 pretty please. Really, please scroll down and smash that like button. Please. Please, smash it. Smash it.